Hello, so for today we have a really nice long problem of logarithms here. So pause the video, go ahead and give it a try and then come back with me solve it. Okay, welcome back. So this problem has a lot of logarithms here and the nice thing is that everything is actually equated to zero which is a good thing for this equation because from all we understand about logarithms, if I have log to the best end of some argument a, if this equals to zero, then it implies that the argument is actually a one. So that means each of these arguments here is going to be equal to one, right? So I'll rewrite this as log three of log four x equals log four of log two y equals log 2 of log 3 z and all this equals to 1 because you know uh, this condition here then we have a 1 here which is also a good thing because we know that if I have log of to some base a of an argument a if this equals to 1 then it directly implies that a equals to n so if the argument and the base are equal, then the log is always going to be equal to 1. So that means each of these arguments is equal to the corresponding base. Let me just do that using another color here. So this means that uh, log 4x equals 3 from here. And then, okay, also here log 2y equals 4. And also here log... 3z equals 2. And from here we can find the values of x, y, and z. So from here we can see that 4 to the power 3 equals x, which means x is 64. From here we have 2 to the power 4 equals y, which means y is 16. And from here we have 3 to the power 2 equals z. So that means z equals to 9. And boom! We have it now. Let's go ahead and calculate the sum x plus y plus z. This is going to be 64 plus 16 plus 9. 64 plus 16 plus 9. That's about 64 plus 25, which is 89. Right, so that's our answer. Thanks for watching this video. If you find it helpful, give me a thumbs up. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I produce math and physics content every week and uh, i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye